Hello again. So since my last video where I showcased a little bit about how to install the new current sensor that was introduced by Fruto Technology, there's been some questions because an official announcement was made that the uh, GP Star Lite kit would be available. And that device or that kit is going to feature that particular device as a means of connecting a stock HasLab wand for those users who are maybe not willing to open up their um, open up their wand to do a full conversion. So the current sensor is going to allow you to uh, connect to a stock wand and still be able to offer some control of the pack. Basically, whatever Hasbro did, we can essentially replicate that, which is turning the pack on and causing it to fire a proton stream. And for right now, that's that's about it. Uh, what I wanted to show now is, or show briefly here, is real quick, uh, what, what's the difference between the two? So first, I'm going to go with, this is a fully modded, way, mo way more electronics packed into this, and that is directly integrated with the pack controller. So when I turn on the pack, or turn on the wand... So of course I can fire a stream. I can also change the stream modes that affects both the wand and the pack. And that's only doable because there's a two-way communication between these devices. So this is, all the internals are pretty much completely replaced and fully integrated. So let me turn that off. Because what I want to show now is using our quick disconnect, using a simple Nutrit connector, I'm going to connect to the HasLab that's not been modified. So this is the Hasbro 1984 wand. So I'm going to turn up the volume on the pack because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on this wand. Okay, turn that back down. Okay, so that is a quick example of a power up the wand. It affects the pack. I can throw a stream. Uh, within a second, it fires on the pack. There is a small delay because there's a lot that's going on in here. When you fire, especially at the higher uh, power settings, there's a lot of fluctuations from the devices. You can feel and hear the vibration motor in here it sort of ramps up and then it kind of ramps back down just a little bit. Basically, there's there's fluctuations in power draw. We need to make sure we correctly read those and not mix them up as, oh, the user was firing and now suddenly stopped or worse, think that the wand shut down even though it didn't. So in order to do that, we have to do a little bit of reading and make sure that we are responding accordingly. Anyways, long way to say, this is why there's a delay. It's the same way or was the same way with the stock uh, Hasbro. Uh, we're basically doing the same thing that they were doing. Now, what I am attempting to do is make some modifications to the web UI. So if you have this device, uh, the, the wireless device, you can use your phone to connect to the pack and you can get live readings, especially... Right now, I have it now reconfigured, so you will see the power readings coming from the wand itself. So as you fire a stream, you can see those values change. And if I change the power level, So as I modify or, or change the settings uh, here, there's some amount of data that comes back and I can get those values. Uh, this is sort of a precursor. I'm not quite sure how yet to uh, integrate this 
uh, for the for the user interface. But what has been discussed is potentially allowing you to go into a config screen, maybe for the uh, pack or the attenuator itself, and setting a preference so that it you know triggers firing at a particular power draw basically letting you choose at what point do you want it to um, respond to your input so you could make the timings as tight as you want we're obviously going to do the best that we can but we also know that people are going to probably modify these and there are some upgrades that you can make that are not quite as destructive as completely replacing the electronics, but you can do things like swap out the bar graph. You could swap out to a higher intensity vent light. Little minor mods like that, those are probably going to change the power, uh, the power draw from this device. And so we're talking about how can we let users see and respond and set their own preferences uh, for what what is considered the cutoff for what's on, what's firing, what's idle, that sort of thing. It's about what I wanted to show on that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot swap back over to the GP Star and you see the pack kicked on for just a second. That's because we don't know yet uh, what's connected. This, this drew some power. The pack thought that uh, it was actually a wand coming on because we drew the minimum amount of power necessary to consider the wand as on. But once this had its communication back to the pack and these two were in sync, it knew, okay, that was a mistake. I actually am connected to a, a GP star controller and so it just shut down. So I'm still working through that. That wasn't something I quite expected to do and I don't know how many users may hot swap like this. Ideally, if you've got the chip in there, uh, it's not going to affect operation of your modded wand, and you can do this uh, swap back and forth thing that I did. But again, everything works exactly as it should. I throw my streams. I can change my stream type. And yeah. So that's all I really had to show. Uh, that's just what I've done in the last day or so. So there you go. All right, so if you've stuck around this long, I've got an Easter egg for you. And this is for the Frozen Empire mode. When you turn on the wand, like the fight with Garaka, if you do a little bit of button mashing to make the wand sputter, I've got a special effect for you. So what it'll do now is instead of just uh, locking out the wand uh, for the button mash error, it will freeze up the pack. So you'll get the sort of ice crackling effect. The, the lights will spin down and eventually turn off. And then after a few seconds, the pack will sort of do that quick thaw and come back to life. So there you go. Little Easter egg for a frozen empire.